preview. Hey guys, it's uh, Colton Lindsay. We're over here on Instagram as well. Instagram, Facebook, and whatever this one is over here. Thanks for being here in the WGR Live. I'm going to be talking about objection handling today. How would you like to handle objections even better to set even more appointments? Specifically, the objection today is, well, i got to talk to my spouse. How often are you talking to a FISBO, an expired, or a hot lead, and they say, hey, listen, I want to check with my wife, or I want to check with my husband. Give me a call back. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Before we dive into deep on how that specific objection, I want to give an overall view when it comes to objection handling. Rule number one, write this down. When you're handling objections, you've got to make sure you get your questions answered. The biggest mistake that I see, we talk about this all the time in the Prospecting Alliance, is people are trying to go straight into handling objections. What if you focused on getting your question answered? So I want to give you an example first. When you ask the magic question, and by the way, if you guys are watching live, no matter where you're at, or replay, or put an L for live and an R for replay in the comments below so I can see who you are. Um, but but the question, the magic question is, is hey, if you knew 100% for certain to do business with me, two things would happen. One is you sell your house. The other is you end up with significantly more money in your pocket. I know that's a big, a big, a big promise, but if you knew it were true, do you want to hear more about it? That is a question that you want to get answered. If they say some story like, I got to check with my wife, or you know what, I'm going to try it on my own for 30 days, or I have a friend in the business, or whatever excuse they give you, go back and ask the question again until you get a yes or no. But one objection that you sometimes have to work at overcoming is the spouse objection. So rule one, get your question answered. Rule two when handling this objection is, we got to isolate the objection. So. Uh, when you're talking with the wife, let's say you're talking with the wife and she says, well, I got to check with my husband. You're going to say, awesome. I totally understand. Teamwork is important in this. Here's the key word. Assuming your husband's on board with it, would you be open to meeting for 20 or 30 minutes to see how we do business? That way it isolates the business. It pushes the husband off to the side. And she's going to say, yeah, if he's on board, I'm totally on board. And usually the wife is always on board because the husband that's the crazy one, true or true. And then what you can do is, okay, awesome. Can I tell Here's what's key phrasing. Can I tell you? what most people do in your situation. They want to be like most people. They don't want to make a mistake. They want to do what everyone else is doing. And so they're going to say, yeah, what do most people do? And say, so typically what we do is we set up a meeting for about 20 or 30 minutes. And then after, you can just go ahead and check with your husband, make sure that time works, make sure he's okay meeting with this. And then if he is, we'll plan on meeting at that time. So would Wednesday at five o'clock work or is Thursday just a little bit better for you? And then you set the appointment. The other way you're going to handle that is if you're talking on the phone with the husband and he uses the excuse, hey, I got to check with my wife. And you're going to say, hey, I totally get it. Teamwork's important. You got to check with your wife. You know, I, 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 I'm on your side here. So assuming she's on board, isolate the objection. Assuming she's on board, are you on board to meet with me for 20 or 30 minutes to see how I do business completely differently. And he's gonna say, yeah, she's on board, I'm totally on board. Because now he has no excuse but to say yes. And you say, awesome, can I tell you what most people do in this situation? And he's gonna say, what is that? You say, well, usually we get together for 20 or 30 minutes, set up a meeting, that way you have time to check with your wife, make sure she's, sure she's on board, do early afternoons or later afternoons work better. And he's gonna say, usually later afternoons, awesome. I can come by Wednesday around five, or is Thursday even better for you? And then you set the appointment. And then you say, when do you, and both, no matter which one you do, whether it's the, spot, the, the wife or the husband, you say, I'm gonna call you back tomorrow morning just to make sure that works. It's to 10 o'clock, and so you actually set a time that you're gonna call them back. Schedule them in your mojo, call them back, and just confirm, say, hey, I just wanna follow up, make sure that we're still meeting, uh, or, or you don't even do it that way. You, let, me, let me shift a little bit. Instead of saying make sure we're still meeting, say, hey, I'm just calling to let you know I'm still planning on coming over tomorrow at five o'clock. So you wanna assume that they're gonna be okay with it, okay? So you wanna assume that they're still gonna let you over. One of the things that you have to understand is if you use this objection handler with the wife and she's using the excuse of her husband, there's a very good chance that when you call back to confirm that she checked with her husband and he's going to squash the deal. It's very normal that if you're doing it with the wife and the husband is the objection that you're not going to probably get that meeting and just be okay with that. But if it's the husband that's using the wife of the objection, the odds are that you're going to get that meeting are very, very high. So hopefully this helped you handle this objection. This came from a question I think on my YouTube or my Instagram. I can't really remember. So hopefully it helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, go to prospectinglife.com. I'd love to help you guys learn even more, getting better at your prospecting and generating appointments. And if any of you guys want to get a breakthrough call, send me a message if you're on Instagram or put the word breakthrough in the comments below here on Facebook or YouTube. And we'll set up a 15-minute, 20 minute breakthrough call with you with me or my team to help you break through with your prospecting. Thanks for being here, gang. We'll see you later.